Hey, it's Frank from 4D Honeybee here. It's day three of my uh, beekeeping experience. And I planned a short visit today because when I uh, put in nuke number one into that hive over there, hive number one, I found a couple of swarm cells and I took two off, but there might be a couple more on. And having looked into it a little more, um, I realized that I uh, probably shouldn't leave those swarm cells on because they could hatch and swarm out at any moment. So. Um, hive number two, I'm just going to inspect to make sure that, uh, that they're taking the food source that I've put in, the sugar water. And you can see still, just as the day that I installed the nukes, hive number two is way more active than hive, hive number one. I found the queen in hive number two, and they're both seeming to produce fine. I didn't find the, hot, the queen in hive number two. So I found the queen in hive number one, that one over there. But I didn't find it in hive number two, this one over here. So uh, the plan for today is just to open up hive number one and uh, look for those swarm cells and take them out just in case. And then just open up the top of hive number two here to make sure they're feeding on our sugar water. Got the smoker going, but I'm going to try not to smoke them at all because hive number one is very placid and calm. So hopefully I can keep them that way. We'll see. So a quick check of the top feeder here on hive number two. That's all I'm going to do here today. But you can see... They seem to be rather enjoying their sugar water. So that's great. Still a lot in there. Probably haven't gone through a third of it yet. So we'll just leave that be and hopefully they keep going at it. Okay, so if you, you can see I've removed the top cover off and the feeder. It's pretty cool. And two days they've already built up comb right through the uh, opening of the inner cover. Oh, busy bees. So we'll remove all this burr comb just to uh, just make sure they don't stick it too much. We'll do that after. Have a look at all the burr comb they've set up here. So I'm going to start the inspection from the far side here and take out these brand new frames which shouldn't have any activity on them. It's only been three days basically. I need to put them back in reverse order. I'm going to put them down so that everything stays the same. see here they have already started to draw out comb on one of the brand new frames it's nice yeah, and I'm just looking for burr comb on the three frames that I installed from the nuke so we're getting to those now and I'm gonna smoke them a little bit just to get them off the top Again, I'm just looking for queen cells, and yeah, you see there's a couple cells at the bottom here that I don't like. Lots of drones, but this cell here is a concern of mine, so I'm going to get rid of it, and pretty much everything that's down here, I guess, while I'm at it. That's it for that one. It's looking good now. As we'll have a look at the activity here where there's some nice pollen clumps in there and some nectar. And 
one whole side of capped honey here, so I'll just let you see it there. Check out the other side. It's looking nice too. Lots of honey around the side. The root should be going in the, the middle here and there is lots of honey. Let's see if I can spot any eggs in there. I don't see any eggs. But I do see clumps of pollen in there so they're working just fine. Don't see the queen on this one yet so I'll just move it over. Now, the comb right on the bottom here, I'm pretty sure it's just burr comb that they're using to glue up the whole box, but again, because I pulled off one that had a, a larva in it, I just want to make sure they're not swarming or preparing to swarm. I'll find a better way to remove this so I'm not upsetting them too much. stuff on top here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. Now let's have a look at what's going on here. Oh, some nice pollen. You can see a bee right in the middle here that has some nice pollen on her sacks. See here? Lots of drones and everybody's working hard. What's going on, on this side? Yeah, you can see some drone cone there at the bottom that's sticking out. That's okay. And there's the queen. There's Queen Isabel doing her work. So let's see if we can find some eggs over here. Well, they're capping that brood pretty nicely and capping honey, so There's some larva. So that's looking great. I'm very happy with that. Certainly no um, queen cells or super seeder cells on this one. I'm gonna be careful where I put it so that I don't squish Queen Isabel. More burr comb on top here. Get rid of that. This one's definitely glued together. These next two boards are already glued with some brand new comb on it. Some very young bees here too, very small. So again, you see these combs at the bottom are what worry me. I want to make sure there's not a swarm that's going to happen here soon. Because it's a brand new nuke, they are uh, they were in very confined quarters for an amount of time so again just want to make sure that they're not going anywhere anytime soon yeah and there is larva in there you can see so again not too sure if those were queen cells but just in case right now to play it safe I'm just getting rid of them One more to do and then we'll put it all back together. A nice drone cone here and wow, lots of larva. This is a really healthy, healthy hive. One more thing I'm just gonna get rid of here, right here. Okay, I know, I know, I'll be gone soon, don't worry. Okay, last one. Wow, the 
this is heavy. Holy smokes. And there is a ton of honey in this. This is all capped honey in there. Look at that. And this side is capped honey and soon to be brewed. So again, I'll just take those cones at the bottom off and put this back and we're done. Okay, back in you go. We are already building out two of the new frames, so that's very, very positive. Now I'm just going to leave them alone. I won't come back to these hives until all oh, but another five or six days. So I'll just leave them on their own to do their thing and keep going strong, I hope. Space them out again, like they were before, and that should do it. Okay, inner cover bird comb will take off too. Let's get all this stuff here, we'll get rid of this too, just so that they don't stick it down as easily, but I don't see a big deal. back on. They weren't too much interrupted by the feeder. These guys gotta get out of here. We're gonna switch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get scoop. Scoop. Make sure it's centered nicely. Back they go. Okay, I know. I know. Let's get all these guys out of here because they would be trapped. Let's put this super and lid on. More in there? Nope. Okay. So that's a day three inspection just to get rid of some of those queen cells. I'm glad I did because there were some larvae in there. And again, that's probably left over for when, when the nukes were getting prepared. But from what I saw online, those would still hatch and then the queen might just want to leave with those. So they're gone. My inspection is done and thanks for watching 4D Honeybee.